right. So my project is related to our platform itself, and the platform is called The Hub. Um, it's historically not popular, and we haven't done a great job on the technical design of it. And previous training efforts have been with, met with mixed success. So um, this is focused specifically on internal users. Um, so my SPO is by improving, uh, I should say, internal users' understanding of hub functionality and layout for two of our roles, directors and SMOs, we will benefit by 25% fewer cases submitted to our ticketing queue um, and a higher than 85% satisfaction rating um, with uh, the technology used in one of our programs. And those numbers are based on you know, actual things that we can get. Um, and so as it comes to on-the-job behaviors, we hope to um, see folks who can intuitively navigate and find materials in the hub from both their own perspective, but also from uh, the end user itself, the participant, um, that they can do some self-help on their own for some basic participant issues. We'll have to define what basic means at some point um, and then become champions of the hub. So we that's a sort of an attitudinal thing that we have to address and we want them to become champions. Um, so user personas. Um, so I have three. There is self-serve Sam. He is uh, basically wants to do it himself, wants to learn on his own, and really just doesn't have time for a lot of training and wants to get that training in the moment when he hasn't been able to figure it out himself. Our second one is Naysayer Norm, who essentially has a lot of baggage. He's either been here for a while or has just not had um, a good experience with the hub. And so any training efforts really need to be like perfect. Um, and the experience itself needs to be perfect. Um, and then last we have um, Techiverse Tammy. And that's probably our biggest group actually. Um, she is uncomfortable with technology. She um, uh, she may be new or she may just be uncomfortable with technology or low skilled in it. So we have a lot of like um, handholding one-on-one -on -one attention that we need to give her. She also is potentially our biggest champion. Um, you know, once we can get all the Techiverse Tammies on board, that might help us to move the needle somewhat. Um, whereas Sam and Norm, uh, they just need to have the assets and sort of be convinced the proof is in the pudding for them. So when we look at the Venn diagram, um, so I, I organize these by color so I can sort of talk you through it, but basically we've got, um, you know, the uh, Techiverse Tammy with the red sort of more on the right side with the social and formal. Um, whereas like naysayer, uh, naysayer norm and tech, uh, the self-serve Sam are more on the left side with some social, but they're more wanting some immediate, in the case of Norm, he might want some more formal assets. Um, we have like three primary metrics that we would want to measure, which I referenced in the SPO around satisfaction rating. Our, our, our uh, rating uh, sort of goal right now is 75%. We're at 80%, so 85 is achievable. Um, and we'll have to figure out like loving the hub, what that means, you know, maybe rating from a scale of one to 10. Um, as Krista mentioned earlier, we have a lot of surveys that we do in our organization. So like you can see some secondary metrics where we might be able to look at some of the different um, specific assets and see, um, you know, what the performance of that particular asset was. I, I looked at the overall, um, uh, 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 score uh, rather than each asset because we have tons of assets, but they're just not organized well. So you can see like here in the, the Venn diagram, a lot of these we already have. We have Slack, we have office hours, we have one pagers, but the way they're organized and the way that we train them isn't successful. If we organize differently, we might be able to go from like a two to a seven in our um, organization or in our upgrade action. So, so that's it.